A truth bearer is an entity that is said to be either true or false and nothing else. The thesis that some things are true while others are false has led to different theories about the nature of these entities. Since there is divergence of opinion on the matter, the term truth bearer is used to be neutral among the various theories. Truth bearer candidates include propositions, sentences, sentence tokens, statements, concepts, beliefs, thoughts, intuitions, utterances, and judgments, but different authors exclude one or more of these, deny their existence, argue that they are true only in a derivative sense, assert or assume that the terms are synonymous, or seek to avoid addressing their distinction or do not clarify it. Topic. Introduction Some distinctions and terminology as used in this article, based on Wolfram 1989 Chapter 2 Section 1 follow. It should be understood that the terminology described is not always used in the ways set out, and it is introduced solely for the purposes of discussion in this article. Use is made of the type token and use mention distinctions. Reflection on occurrences of numerals might be helpful. In grammar a sentence can be a declaration, an explanation, a question, a command. In logic a declarative sentence is considered to be a sentence that can be used to communicate truth. Some sentences which are grammatically declarative are not logically so. A character is a typographic character printed or written, etc. A word token is a pattern of characters. A word type is an identical pattern of characters. A meaningful word token is a meaningful word token. Two word tokens which mean the same are of the same word meaning a sentence token is a pattern of word tokens. A meaningful sentence token is a meaningful sentence token or a meaningful pattern of meaningful word tokens. Two sentence tokens are of the same sentence type if they are identical patterns of word tokens characters. A declarative sentence token is a sentence token which that can be used to communicate truth or convey information. A meaningful declarative sentence token is a meaningful declarative sentence token. Two meaningful declarative sentence tokens are of the same meaningful declarative sentence type if they are identical patterns of word tokens. A nonsense declarative sentence token is a declarative sentence token which is not a meaningful declarative sentence token. A meaningful declarative sentence token use occurs when and only when a meaningful declarative sentence token is used declaratively. A referring expression is expression that can be used to pick out or refer to particular entity. A referential success is a referring expression's success in identifying a particular entity. A referential failure is a referring expression's failure to identify a particular entity. A referentially successful meaningful declarative sentence token use is a meaningful declarative sentence token use containing no referring expression that fails to identify a particular entity. Topic sentences in natural languages As Aristotle pointed out, since some sentences are questions, commands, or meaningless, not all can be truth bearers. If in the proposal what makes the sentence snow is white true is the fact that snow is white it is assumed that sentences like snow is white are truth bearers, then it would be more clearly stated as what makes the meaningful declarative sentence snow is white true is the fact that snow is white. Theory 1a, all and only meaningful declarative sentence types are truth bearers criticisms of theory 1a some meaningful declarative sentence types will be both truth and false, contrary to our definition of truth bearer, e.g. I the liar paradox sentences such as this sentence is false, see Fisher 2008 e time, place and person dependent sentences e.g. it is noon. This is London, I'm Spartacus. Anyone may, ascribe truth and falsity to the deterministic propositional signs we here call utterances. But if he takes this line, he must, like Leibniz, recognize that truth cannot be an affair solely of actual utterances, since it makes sense to talk of the discovery of previously unformulated truths. Neil, W. and M. 1962, revision to Theory 1a, by making a distinction between type and token. To escape the time, place and person dependent criticism the theory can be revised, making use or the type token distinction, as follows Theory 1b, all and only meaningful declarative sentence tokens are truth bearers Quine argued that the primary truth bearers are utterances having now recognized in a general way that what are true are sentences, we must turn to certain refinements. 
What are best seen as primarily true or false are not sentences but events of utterances. If a man utters the words it is raining in the rain, or the words I am hungry while hungry, his verbal performance counts as true. Obviously one utterance of a sentence may be true and another utterance of the same sentence be false. Quine 1970 page 13 Criticisms of Theory 1b I, Theory 1b prevents sentences which are meaningful declarative sentence types from being truth-bearers. If all meaningful declarative sentence types typographically identical to the whole is greater than the part are true then it surely follows that the meaningful declarative sentence type the whole is greater than the part is true just as all meaningful declarative sentence tokens typographically identical to the whole is greater than the part are English entails the meaningful declarative sentence types the whole is greater than the part is English e some meaningful declarative sentences tokens will be both truth and false or neither contrary to our definition of truth bearer e.g. a token, t, of the meaningful declarative sentence type p, I'm Spartacus, written on a placard. The token t would be true when used by Spartacus, false when used by Bertrand Russell, neither true nor false when mentioned by Spartacus or when being neither used nor mentioned. Theory 1b.1 all meaningful declarative sentence token uses are truth-bearers, some meaningful declarative sentence types are truth-bearers, to allow that at least some meaningful declarative sentence types can be truth-bearers Quine allowed so-called eternal sentences to be truth-bearers. In Pierce's terminology, utterances and inscriptions are tokens of the sentence or other linguistic expression concerned, and this linguistic expression is the type of those utterances and inscriptions. In Frege's terminology, truth and falsity are the two truth values. Succinctly then, an eternal sentence is a sentence whose tokens have the same truth values. What are best regarded as true and false are not propositions but sentence tokens, or sentences if they are eternal Quine 1970 pages 13-14 Theory 1c All and only meaningful declarative sentence token uses are truth-bearers Arguments for Theory 1c By respecting the use mentioned Theory 1c avoids criticism e of Theory 1b. Criticisms of Theory 1c I theory 1c does not avoid criticism I of theory 1b e meaningful declarative sentence token uses are events located in particular positions in time and space and entail a user this implies that a nothing no truth bearer exists and hence nothing no truth bearer is true of false anytime anywhere b nothing no truth bearer exists and hence nothing no truth bearer is true of false in the absence of a user this implies that a nothing was true before the evolution of users capable of using meaningful declarative sentence tokens and b nothing is true or false except when being used asserted by a user. Intuitively the truth or falsity of the tree continues to be in the quad continues in the absence of an agent to acid it. Referential failure A problem of some antiquity is the status of sentences such as you, the king of France is bald V. The highest prime has no factors W. Pegasus did not exist Such sentences purport to refer to entitles which do not exist or do not always exist. They are said to suffer from referential failure. We are obliged to choose either a that they are not truth-bearers and consequently neither true nor false or b that they are truth-bearers and per se are either true or false. Theory 1d all and only referentially successful meaningful declarative sentence token uses are truth bearers. Theory 1D takes option a above by declaring that meaningful declarative sentence token uses that fail referentially are not truth bearers. Theory 1E All referentially successful meaningful declarative sentence token uses are truth bearers. Some meaningful declarative sentence types are truth bearers. Arguments for Theory 1E Theory 1E has the same advantages as Theory 1D. Theory 1E allows for the existence of truth bearers, i.e., meaningful declarative sentence types, in the absence of users and between uses. If for any x, where x is a use of a referentially successful token of a meaningful declarative sentence type y x is a truth bearer, then y is a truth bearer, otherwise, y is not a truth bearer. E.g., if all uses of all referentially successful tokens of the meaningful declarative sentence type the whole is greater than the part are truth bearers i.e. true or false then the meaningful declarative sentence type the whole is greater than the part is a truth bearer. 
If some but not all uses of some referentially successful tokens of the meaningful declarative sentence type I am Spartacus are true then the meaningful declarative sentence type I am Spartacus is not a truth bearer. Criticisms of theory 1e theory 1e makes implicit use of the concept of an agent or user capable of using i.e. asserting a referentially successful meaningful declarative sentence token. Although theory 1e does not depend on the actual existence now, in the past or in the future of such users, it does depend on the possibility and cogency of their existence. Consequently, the concept of truth-bearer under theory 1e is dependent upon giving an account of the concept of a user. Insofar as referentially successful meaningful declarative sentence tokens are particulars locatable in time and space the definition of truth-bearer just in terms of referentially successful meaningful declarative sentence is attractive to those who are or would like to be nominalists. The introduction of use and users threatens the introduction of intentions, attitudes, minds and c. as less than equals welcome ontological baggage. Topic. Sentences in languages of classical logic In classical logic a sentence in a language is true or false under and only under an interpretation and is therefore a truth-bearer. For example, a language in the first-order predicate calculus might include one of more predicate symbols and one or more individual constants and one or more variables. The interpretation of such a language would define a domain universe of discourse, assign an element of the domain to each individual constant, assign the donation in the domain of some property to each unary one place predicate symbol, for example, if a language L consisted in the individual constant A, two unary predicate letters F and G and the variable X, then an interpretation I of L might define the domain D as animals, assign Socrates to A, the denotation of the property being a man to F and the denotation of the property being mortal to G under the interpretation I of L then F A would be true if, and only if Socrates is a man, and the sentence display style for all F X display style to G X would be true if, and only if all men in the domain are mortal. In some texts an interpretation is said to give meaning to the symbols of the language. Since F A has the value true under some but not all interpretations, it is not the sentence type F A which is said to be true but only some sentence tokens of F A under particular interpretations. A token of F A without an interpretation is neither true nor false. Some sentences of a language like L are said to be true under all interpretations of the sentence, e.g. Display style for all F X Display style lore Display style neg fx, such sentences being termed logical truths, but again such sentences are neither true nor false in the absence of an interpretation. Topic: <laughs> Propositions. Many authors use the term proposition as truth bearers. There is no single definition or usage. Sometimes it is used to mean a meaningful declarative sentence itself, sometimes it is used to mean the meaning of a meaningful declarative sentence. This provides two possible definitions for the purposes of discussion as below. Theory 2a All and only meaningful declarative sentences are propositions. Theory 2b a meaningful declarative sentence token expresses a proposition, two meaningful declarative sentence tokens which have the same meaning express the same proposition, two meaningful declarative sentence tokens with different meanings express different propositions. C. F. Wolfram 1989, p. 21 Proposition is not always used in one or other of these ways. Criticisms of Theory 2a if all and only meaningful declarative sentences are propositions, as advanced by theory 2a, then the terms are synonymous and we can just as well speak of the meaningful declarative sentences themselves as the truthbearers. There is no distinct concept of proposition to consider, and the term proposition is literally redundant. Criticisms of theory 2b Theory 2b entails that if all meaningful declarative sentence tokens typographically identical to say, I am Spartacus have the same meaning then they I express the same proposition e that proposition is both true and false, contrary to the definition of truth-bearer. The concept of a proposition in this theory rests upon the concept of meaning as applied to meaningful declarative sentences, in a word synonymy among meaningful declarative sentence s. 
Quine 1970 argues that the concept of synonymy among meaningful declarative sentences cannot be sustained or made clear, consequently the concepts of «propositions» and «meanings of sentences» are, in effect, vacuous and superfluous. See also Willard Van Orman Quine, Proposition, the Russell Myhill Antinomy, also known as the Principles of Mathematics Appendix B Paradox 1. See also Internet Encyclopedia of Philosophy Propositions are abstract entities, they do not exist in space and time. They are sometimes said to be timeless, eternal, or omnitemporal entities. Terminology aside, the essential point is that propositions are not concrete or material objects. Nor, for that matter, are they mental entities, they are not thoughts as Frege had suggested in the 19th century. The theory that propositions are the bearers of truth values also has been criticized. Nominalists object to the abstract character of propositions. Another complaint is that it's not sufficiently clear when we have a case of the same propositions as opposed to similar propositions. This is much like the complaint that we can't determine when two sentences have exactly the same meaning. The relationship between sentences and propositions is a serious philosophical problem. Topic statements Many authors consider statements as truth-bearers, though as with the term proposition there is divergence in definition and usage of that term. Sometimes statements are taken to be meaningful declarative sentences, sometimes they are thought to be what is asserted by a meaningful declarative sentence. It is not always clear in which sense the word is used. This provides two possible definitions for the purposes of discussion as below. A particular concept of a statement was introduced by Strassen in the 1950s, consider the following, I, the author of Waverly is dead J, the author of Ivanhoe is dead K, I am less than 6 feet tall L, I am over 6 feet tall M, the conductor is a bachelor N, the conductor is married in the assumption that the same person wrote Waverly and Ivanhoe, the two distinct patterns of characters meaningful declarative sentences I and J make the same statement but express different propositions. The pairs of meaningful declarative sentences K, L, and M, N have different meanings, but they are not necessarily contradictory, since K and L may have been asserted by different people, and M and N may have been asserted about different conductors. What these examples show is that we cannot identify that which is true or false the statement with the sentence used in making it, for the same sentence may be used to make different statements, some of them true and some of them false. Strassen, P.F. This suggests, two meaningful declarative sentence tokens which say the same thing of the same objects make the same statement. Theory 3a All and only statements are meaningful declarative sentences. Theory 3b All and only meaningful declarative sentences can be used to make statements Statement is not always used in one or other of these ways. Arguments for Theory 3a All and only statements are meaningful declarative sentences, is either a stipulative definition or a descriptive definition. If the former, the stipulation is useful or it is not, if the latter, either the descriptive definition correctly describes English usage or it does not. In either case no arguments, as such, are applicable criticisms of Theory 3a If the term statement is synonymous with the term meaningful declarative sentence, then the applicable criticisms are the same as those outlined under sentence below If all and only meaningful declarative sentences are statements, as advanced by Theory 3a, then the terms are synonymous and we can just as well speak of the meaningful declarative sentences themselves as the truth bearers, there is no distinct concept of statement to consider, and the term statement is literally redundant. Arguments for Theory 3b Topic. Thoughts Frege argued that an indicative sentence in which we communicate or state something, contains both a thought and an assertion, it expresses the thought, and the thought is the sense of the sentence. Notes <laughs>